He's coming up on Lochte. Lochte giving it his go. It's and it's Agnella France who's going to out-touch the Americans in Lochte. So France, after being shot in Beijing, wins gold in London. The U.S. with the silver. You can feel the intensity inside the Olympic Aquatic Stadium right now as we get set for the men's 400 free relay. That relay has a lot of pressure. Um, we have a lot of pride in that relay. I mean, losing it in London four years prior, it's not a set relay for us, but we take a lot of pride in that. We were loaded, but, you know, the, the Australians were also absolutely incredible. And, you know, the French are always going to have, you know, somehow, even though they're a pretty small country compared to us, they always just seem to have four really, really, really great athletes they can throw on that relay and, and challenge us for gold medals. So in Rio for the 400 free relay, um, I wanted to actually be lead off. I don't think that was the original plan, but I kept pushing, saying I, this is what I want to do. This has kind of always been my thing. So here we go. I mean, I knew I had a good start. Gets great height and great speed off the box and already off to a brilliant start. And then my goal from there was just hang on and try to get my hand on the wall first for that relay. And Dressel is really churning the water down there in lane five. No one loves the relays more than Michael Phelps and into the water he goes with the United States in the second position. Michael Phelps rockets out ahead of Fabian Gilo of France who had the lead, but Phelps now has the lead for the Americans. And he's about ready to give way to Ryan Held in his first final at an international meet. And it's the big time at the Olympics. This is a big time swim right now, early on, for a guy that has never been in this position ever. Nathan Adrian will try to bring it home for the United States. I remember this minute was a lot closer than we thought it was going to be, but we knew Nathan was not going to let that guy pass him. Let's go, Nathan! Oh, yeah, I can still relive that moment. That was awesome. That was awesome. I knew all the guys were going to take care of their part on the relay. I wasn't worried about that, but I mean, it was definitely good company standing next to Michael watching the relay go. I remember Michael just slapping the block and cheering him on. Um, and I remember Nathan was probably still 35 meters out, and Michael's like, oh, like, we want it. We got this. I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, it's a pretty close race um, at this point, but I guess Michael just knew. come back in 2016 and, and win it and you know win it in the way that we did um, just felt so great just to do it with with like three other guys that like they understand what that relay meant and you know Michael was on the 2012 one with me um, where we lost by a little bit and you know I'm sure Caleb and Ryan had seen it um, either live or, or, or tape delay and you know knew that we wanted it and we wanted it really bad. That was a special moment. Me, Ryan, Michael, and Nathan. That was pretty awesome. Two veterans and then two young guys with me and Ryan. I think the world of you know Caleb, Ryan, and Michael. Um, they're they're great people. Uh, just Ryan in particular is just such a he's such an honest and and you know genuine person. Ready, <laughs> boys. You know I. I thought I was going to have a hard time, you know, holding back tears, but obviously Ryan had a much harder time. Uh, I just like look over and he's like sobbing in just like the most dramatic way. And I just thought it was beautiful. So you have two college kids and two veterans in the sport still coming together and putting together a gold medal winning relay. So I thought that was very cool. Um, and you know, at the time Ryan wasn't a big name and this kid standing on the top of the world for the Olympics at a 400 free relay. So he had every right to be crying on that podium. I would say overwhelming best sums up that whole, the whole race, the whole being on the podium. Yeah, it was an emotional roller coaster for sure. I mean, most, all of it positive, but I would say overwhelming in the most um, positive way you can think of that word.